And then when she breaks up with him, she goes find another guy who does the same thing. Why do you think that happens? Why do you think that keeps repeating itself? And then they come to you and they cry and they want to see a psychiatrist or they want to see a healer or whatever. But the same thing happens over. Do you know why? Have you ever investigated that? Where the roots of it is? I will... Amy, I'll, I'll unmute you and we talk about it later. But I'm going to finish this part. So you get an understanding. And... Uh, hey, come. I, I will unmute you later and we talk about it because the first imprint is being left out so as a child when you're left out especially those families that is broken in early ages of the kids so most girls okay most daughters most girls that the dad left when they were whatever five six seven eight ten twelve whatever unconsciously they're relating this love because a girl a baby dad is the king worships his dad and of course boys are connected to their mom more and typically girls are connected to their dad so here is this father figure who you're worshiping abandons you in your psyche for whatever reason i'm not putting people down i'm just saying life circumstances happen and you have to separate especially today that society is not supporting families society the trend is anti-family it's destroying the families it appears that it's supporting it but it's not supporting it it does whatever it does to break families apart and so that leaves so here's your child and a father figure a man who you love and you connect love to him he left so unconsciously you're relating the next time when you're grown up you're 18 19 whatever and you start dating dating guys you're naturally attracted to men who are ignorant to you and they're gonna leave you you are attracted to bad boys you want men who are not available those are the ones you find attractive because they reflect back of your very first early stages of loving a man your father is the one who leaves so any man who leaves you triggers you and brings you back to those early stages of your feelings of loving and wanting so you naturally are attracted to men who are going to leave you and if a man comes to your life who's very loving and friendly and giving you naturally you reject them they're too nice they're too good even though you go to your girlfriends and to your friends and say oh really i want to be respected i really want someone who treats me like a princess but when you find someone who treats you like a princess, you treat them like shit. Because you don't really want that. You want to be tortured. Because that's what you remember. That's what you're relating to love. Of being left out. Of being ignored. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? Are you, does, it, does it grog? I want you, I really highly recommend that you watch this video. 
two or three times later on. Go through it because there's really very precious gems that I'm sharing with you right now that it's really going to help you and bring light to your life of understanding yourself, your own psyche, and understanding why your kids or people around you behave the way they behave. Where is it coming from? Or your leaders, religious leaders, government leaders, whatever, your community leaders. Why they're behaving the way they're behaving? Where is the root cause of it? Until you really understand this and dive into it and willing to really look at it. This will haunt you all of your life. And you will have this yearning for someone to come to your life to make you whole. You can become whole and complete till you face this and walk into this part of yourself and look at it and face loneliness and turn loneliness voluntarily into aloneness. And put yourself voluntarily in a situation that you're all alone. Let's say you go drive two hours to go and stay in a cabin somewhere all by yourself no entertainment and when these emotions come out these compulsions come out that you need to be with someone you just stay in into it and breathe into it and as uncomfortable as it gets and it's like ah, oh, ah, it wants to tear you apart you just Stay and go back to the witness and stay as the witness and allow the demon, allow this to come and stay, not run away, not run to chocolate, not run to alcohol, not run to a joint, not run to sex, to the boyfriend, girlfriend, stay with it. Hang in there. And reconnect with the truth of who you are. Find. Go deeper. Go beyond that. Go beyond your compulsions, your emotions, your thoughts that want to tear you apart because you're touching a very, very deep wound that you have not had an idea that it's been there that causes hate and anger in you and naturally you're pointing it out to the world. You're projecting it on the president, on the government, on the corporations, on other people, other races. This is happening with everybody in the world. 